Good morning, and welcome to our Veterans Day Assembly to honor our local veterans based on Wednesday being Veterans Day. Although a more formal welcome will come from our principal, Mrs. Bassock, as a veteran myself and a teacher here, I would like to welcome veterans and guests, administrators, teachers, staff, and students. Please rise as we honor the American flag. The color guard is commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dania Alvarado. Once the colors are posted, Cadet Private First Class Cheyenne Sowards will lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Please remain standing. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now a few words by our principal, Mrs. Bastock. Good morning. We welcome everyone today to celebrate Veterans Day. And we thank all the students who are involved in making this assembly happen. As we, as we are watching and celebrating Thank you. I want you to remember those who have served or are serving at this time. Everyone in here probably knows someone, a mother, father, sister, uncle, cousin, somebody. So as this assembly is taking place and these young men and women are paying tribute to them, I ask that you give the respect not only for them, but for everybody you may know who has served in Vietnam, World War II, 
Afghanistan, anywhere, or who may be overseas right now. So I ask you to give them the respect they deserve. This assembly is for them, not necessarily for you. So please keep that in mind. Thank you. for Ms. Hall's drama class will now present a selection of essays and poems with a slideshow and the singing of On Eagle's Wings. Veterans Day doesn't get the pomp and circumstance of some other holidays. But every year on November 11th, we as Americans take the time to recognize the heroes among us. They are the men and women who served in our armed forces. They are the veterans of the United States military. How do you say thank you to millions of people who have given up years away from family and friends? Pay tribute to people who have risked life and limb so that we can live in the land of the free. You start by gathering them together and letting them know you are aware of their sacrifices that they that they have made and that you are humbled to be in their presence. I stand before you respectfully to say thank you for my freedom. It is not the veteran, it is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the veteran, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the general public, not the veteran, that owes a debt of gratitude to the brave men and women who have served our country. Thank you for stepping forward when others step back. Thank you for placing yourself between us and danger. Thank you for delaying plans for college, marriage, and other opportunities, and choosing to serve. Thank you for braving the unspeakable horrors of war. Thank you for sacrificing time with your families and missing those significant milestones that the rest of us take for granted. Thank you to your spouses who find themselves living nomadic lives, often far away from the support of loved ones. Thank you to your children who accept your absences as a way of life and understand that they share you with a nation and sometimes the world. Thank you to your parents who have nothing but prayers to protect you and must now trust you will be safe and that we will offer the best we have to you. Thank you for continuing to support your country once you leave military service by following new careers and becoming the teachers, clergy, business owners, employees, pilots, civil servants, and so much more that we need to be successful today. Thank you for involving yourself in your local community, your state, and your country, helping us to solve problems and to create a vision for our future using the skills you learned during your tour of duty. Thank you for being a conscience to our nation. Thank you for serving as a heroic example of who we are and what we can dream to be. Thank you for your service. A veteran is a person who fell in love with their country, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. A veteran is a person who is willing to lay down their life for the Statue of Liberty so that her poor, her held on masses, her homeless, her tempest tossed may be free and may enjoy life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A veteran is a person who does what he or she must in spite of personal consequences, in spite of obstacles and dangers and pressures, for that is the basis of all human morality. A veteran is one who gets a lump in the throat when he or she sees our beloved flag. 
one who will fight to protect our beautiful flag from those who dare to dishonor it. A veteran is one who pays their taxes willingly, serves their country honorably, and ch cherishes their freedom passionately. A veteran is one well deserving of our appreciation, our love, and our prayers 365 days a year. I was a proud veteran that served my country well. To those that would listen, I had many stories to tell. We fought for America's freedom in far away places on foreign land. Wherever the battle for democracy raged, America's finest made a stand. We fought for your future and the right to remain free. For we saw what freedom means to those not blessed with liberty. For you and yours, we would gladly have given our lives. We face the fears and perils of battle. We brave endless turmoil and strife. Please remember us veterans and the sacrifices we made for you. Please share the blessings of freedom. Proudly wave the red, white, and blue. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of the white, red, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. Our flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of every soldier who died defending it. On behalf of the Lorraine High Annex student body, thank you to all veterans. We would not be here today without your sacrifices. We promise never to forget. We will keep you in our hearts year round. I proudly introduce Mrs. Schindler and the Lorraine High School Choir singing on Eagle's, Eagle's Wings.
The JROTC Honor Guard, commanded by Cadet Major Danielle Price, will now present the Prisoner of War Missing in Action Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, our veterans, the Lorain High School Army Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, Honor Guard, under the command of Cadet Major Danielle Price, will now present the Prisoner of War Missing in Action Ceremony. The other members of the Honor Guard are Cadet First Sergeant Sandro Marrero, Cadet Staff Sergeant Zamarie Bohannon, Cadet Captain Adrian Ramos, Cadet Major Oswaldo Carrillo, and I am Cadet Command Sergeant Major Aaron Clayton. It's an honor and a privilege to introduce and acknowledge this table. This table pays tribute to all of the prisoners of war missing in action and killed in action from American involvement in World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Grenada, the Persian Gulf Desert Storm, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and more. Many of you have looked at this table and wondered, let me explain. This table, set for five, symbolizes the frailty of the prisoners against their oppressors. Remember, the tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their country's call to arms. Remember, the single candle displayed in the center of the table is symbolic of the families and loved ones who kept the faith, waiting for the return of those so dear to them. Remember, the red ribbon tied so prominently on the candle is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn upon the lapels and breast of the many thousands who bear witness to their unyielding determination to demand a proper accounting for our missing and the return of all Americans left on foreign soil. Remember, the lemon on the bread plate reminds us of their bitter fate. Remember, there is salt on the bread plate, symbolic of the tears of the families as they still wait for their loved ones to return. Remember, the glasses are inverted. They cannot toast with us tonight. Remember, the chairs are empty. They are not here. Remember, all of you who have served with them and called them brothers and sisters, who have depended upon their might and aid, remember, up then, remember them, for surely they have not forgotten you.
Good morning, veterans, families, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cadet Command Sergeant Major Aaron Clayton. On behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Graham, your principal, Mrs. Bastock, and the Lorraine High School Army Junior ROTC Honor Guard, under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Owen and Sergeant First Class Christy Proy, it's our, priv it's our privilege to present this missing man ceremony today. It is an honor to be with you all here this morning. To our veterans in attendance, Thank you for your service and sacrifice to our nation's defense on freedom. Wednesday is Veterans Day, a day and time for us to pause and reflect on the contributions our veterans have made and all those who have gave the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our country and freedom. American revolutionary Thomas Paine wrote in his pamphlet, Common Sense, it is not in numbers but in unity that our great strength lies. Those words are as true today as they were in 1776. The unity that is America springs from one cause, Freedom. Generation after generation of Americans have stepped forward to defend our freedom and to preserve the founding principles of this great nation. From Valley Forge to Vietnam, from Kuwait to Kandahar, from Berlin to Baghdad, these patriots have stood watch over America's peace and when necessary, they have borne the cost of our nation's wars. There are more than 24 million living veterans that are among our nation's finest citizens. They served our country and they continue to serve our communities. Through our presentation, we honor the veterans for their solemn pledge to defend our freedom. We pledge to uphold the legacy by teaching younger generations about their role in securing the blessing of liberty and about how a veteran's courage and sacrifice has shaped our nation's history. In addition, we would like to thank the United States Armed Forces and their families for their dedication, sacrifice, and service to our country. Let us remember those deployed on foreign soil, in harm's way, standing watch on point for our nation around the world. Please pray for our service men and women for a safe return home. 
and continued support for them in their mission on the global war on terrorism and protecting our nation's freedom. This concludes our presentation. Again, thank you for inviting us. Have a safe return home. God bless America, and let us never forget. At this time, we will observe a moment of silence followed by the playing of taps. Although taps originally played as a bugle call at the end of each day, it is now customarily played at burial and memorial services to accompany the lowering of the flag and to signify the end of one's life given in the sacrifice to their country. Upon completion of taps, students are asked to remain seated and wait for further instructions. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV20, WLCS. To purchase a high-quality copy of the program you just viewed, please call Lorraine City Schools Television at 282-8400. The Warriors to Work program makes it possible for wounded warriors and their families to build new lives together. When my dad left, I was like this big, but I'm like this big. My dad got a master's degree and in human resources. Thanks to Warriors to Work that my dad has a terrific job. The Wounded Warrior Project helps him by, you know, giving him another start. Now that my dad's home, I get a lot more hugs. I'm really proud of him. Find out more about Wounded Warrior Project at findwwp.org. Welcome home, the brave. I was the first woman ever to deploy on a strategic air command deployment. You didn't just serve your country. I lobbied for women to be on board submarines. You paved the way for others. I joined the Army because I wanted a challenge. And the challenges you face now? Your VA delivers a variety of benefits. Learn more, including how to apply online using eBenefits. No matter what time it is, you've earned them. Apply today.